Hello everyone, welcome to this video and in this video I'm going to show you how to connect your local .mdf SQL database file straight from your um, uh, project, um, your startup project folder. So I already have a setup right here so we don't have to type any code. So I'm just going to show you my setup. Um, all the codes, I'm going to place all the codes in a .txt file, give you a link to download that in the description, so you don't have to type absolutely nothing. So let's go ahead and get started. So um, basically my setup is to load a, um, a table from the local um, .mdf file into this data grid view. So that's the setup. So um, I'm just going to show you my codes. You don't have to type anything just follow okay so on the testings load which is this method right here it's going to load um a table which the name of the table is called chat so it's going to load this table into the um data grid view so let me just launch it and show you you know i'm going to change that later just so you know that it actually works Okay, so here it is. Um, these are all the records in that table in the local um, in the local .mdf database file. So um, I'm just going to show you how to achieve this. So it's not just about getting the connection string and all. So you just have to know the um, the, the the means of doing this thing. So first of all, um, you have to go to your SQL uh, management, your SQL Server Management Studio. And then you have to detach your database. <clears throat> so, excuse me. So, um, in in the first instance, I think here's the name of my database that I um, that I um, that I, I took out. So, but in this case, I'm just going to use another tape, another database, just to show you that it's it actually works. So, first, I'm just going to right click um, task and then detach. So detach, it's going to detach, you know, select and then OK. So it's going to detach this database. Now, before you copy, very, very importantly, before you copy, before you go to the location and copy that .mdf file, very, very importantly, you have to stop the SQL server service running. So I repeat, you have to stop the SQL server service running so that you can actually, um, so did I detach the field? Okay, I think yeah. Stop the SQL server uh, service running. So I'm just going to close this, and then I'm going to type in SQL um, server configuration manager. So it's going to show me um, the SQL server services that are running. So I'm just going to stop them from running. So these two are running. So I'm just going to stop. Then once this stops, I stop the next one. So, okay, okay. Okay, so all of them are stopped right now. So I'm just going to, okay, let me just close this. So I'll go to the um, location where the .mdf files are located. So I think it was program files, then SQL server, Okay, yeah, here, just in your case, it's just going to be the same thing. So data, the data folder. So here is the database in question. So you copy the database and the log file, database log file. Just copy. And then on your Visual Studio, on your Solution Explorer, just just right click and then open folder in file explorer so just so you can go to the startup um, application folder so my bad go to the bin folder debug folder so here's your startup application um, folder so when your application runs um, everything here is what's actually running just so you know so this is your startup application folder so i'm just going to paste the database and um, paste so this is here is attendance register 
different from the attendance grip underscore zero. Okay, now here is the connection string, but before we get to the connection string, we have to connect it from the server explorer um, from our Visual Studio. So I'm just going to um, say connect to database. I'm sure you guys must have been familiar with this already, but I'm just going to still do it. So database file name. So I'm just going to browse it. So um, here it is. Here is the location. And then here it is. And then I'm just going to test connection just to be sure. As you can see, text, test connection succeeded. So I'm just going to OK. And now I can get the connection string and replace um, here. Please take note that I'm not replacing all the connection strings. In your case, when you copy all these codes from the TXT file I'll be sending, you just have to um, just change the database name .mdf here and then you're good to go. So in this case, I'm just going to copy um, the file name. I'm just going to paste it. So attendance register. So um, it has a table that's also named chat in this um, in this um, database. So even now that the application is running, you'll notice that the records are different from um, the first one I did. So that's that's pretty much simple. It's it's actually just that simple. So um, it's 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 awesome. You know. I was finally able to connect um, the local database and yeah, I'm giving out to you guys. So thanks for watching. Um, currently, I am. I currently have about 800 subscribers right now. So I'd I'd plead you to support me to get up to a thousand so I can keep um, um, dishing out content. You know, monetize my content and you know be encouraged to do more so thanks for watching please like please subscribe if you found this video helpful and as always if you have questions down in the comment section i'll reply you as soon as i can so i'll leave you with that peace out